Do you want to clear your deck? Check out this video because by the end you will learn four ways that you can use to clear your cards. So maybe you're new to cards and you are wondering how to go about clearing them or maybe you've been using cards for a while and they're just feeling a little stagnant and you're looking to get them a little refresh. In this video I'm going to talk about four super easy ways to clear your oracle cards or tarot cards or angel cards whatever. So clearing your cards is actually really important. It's important to clear off any negative or stagnant energy and make sure that the cards are infused with your energy since you're the one that do, that's doing the readings. Now everyone has their own preference when it comes to clearing your cards. Some people only clear them just when they buy them. Other people clear them once every season. Some people clear them once a day, especially if they're giving readings for other people. So it's important to experiment and find what works for you. So tip number one, we're going to start with the most popular way, and that is to clear your cards using smoke. You can clear your cards using the smoke of sage, incense, palo santo, whatever you have on hand. You're just going to run the cards over through the smoke. You can do individually, each card individually. Personally, I don't think that's necessary, but whatever makes you happy. If you want to do them individually, if you want to do the whole deck, if you want to break the deck up into like quarters, that's fine too. As long as you have set your intention to clear the energy that is on your cards. You could be specific and say to clear the stagnant energy or negative energy, whatever, as long as you set an intention that you would like to clear your cards. Tip number two. This one's actually my favorite one, and it is knocking. You're literally just knocking on the deck. And what this does is it it's almost like the vibration of the knock loosens the negative or stagnant energy and just kind of brushes it off. If you want to knock once or three times or ten times, whatever, it's basically just clearing the energy that's on there, brushing it off with the vibration, and because you're holding the deck in your hand, you're now infusing it with your energy. Another way you can clear your cards is if you are a Reiki practitioner, you can use Reiki energy to clear them. You can do it by holding the entire deck and using the Reiki energy that way, or you can hover over the deck, you can use the Reiki symbols, whatever you feel drawn to do, but since Reiki energy clears and balances our energy, it also does it for your cards. So if Reiki is something you love to do, don't be afraid to put Reiki energy into your cards to clear them. And number four is another super easy way to clear the energy from your cards, and that is to leave them on your windowsill. You can leave them in the sunlight or in the moonlight, just like you would with your crystals. You can even put a crystal on top, like a clear quartz or black tourmaline or selenite, put it on top of your deck, and that will absorb the energy and infuse that energy into your cards to clear out any negative or stagnant energy. So that's it. Those are the four ways that I have for you to clear the energy from your cards. Let me know in the comments below if you use one of these methods or if you have a different method. Also, be sure to check out the link to my website in the description, theintuitivewife.com, so that you can grab your free copy of Questions to Ask Your Oracle Cards. It's a great tool if you're just starting out or if you're just feeling a little bit stuck and just need a little boost. Don't forget, if you like this video, to like the video and hit subscribe so that you can be notified of future videos coming up. So until next time, I hope you guys have a great day. Happy clearing. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.